Hi guys, today I'm transplanting my pansy seedlings out in the garden. You might remember that I started these from seed back at the end of January. If you missed it, this is a series on growing pansies from seeds and I will put a link to the other two videos that I've made so far down in the description. We're about four weeks out from our average last frost date where I live, and this is the perfect time to get these pansies planted in the ground. Pansies do like cool weather and they can handle frost. I already loosened the soil in my planting area a little bit. This is an area in my garden that gets afternoon shade, which will help keep these pansies from fizzling out in the dog days of summer. Come July and August, they'll definitely be putting out less blooms. They won't look as nice, but by fall they will be back to blooming and they will look nice again. You can plant them in full sun. A lot of people do that, but don't be surprised if they fry and die if you live somewhere with hot summers. They do bloom really nicely in full sun when the weather is cool. So by planting them in partial shade, I am sacrificing the number of blooms that these pansies are gonna make. But they should have no problem surviving the summer as long as I keep up with the watering and as long as I mulch them. And if you do decide to try to grow them throughout the summer, they may look a little rough come July and August, but by the time fall rolls around, they should have perked up and they'll be blooming again. I'm gonna amend this area with some old potting soil just to help improve the texture of the soil and to help the soil drain better, I do have a lot of clay. This little garden doesn't look too bad though. My other garden has so much clay soil. Basically all the top soil was scraped off when my home was put in. Pansies do like a loose, well-draining soil, but I have to say Johnny Jump Ups, also known as wild pansies or something like that, do okay in hard, compacted clay soil. I grew them last year in my other garden, the garden with terrible soil and they grew really nicely. Pansies also look really cute in pots right on your deck or your porch, so that's another option as well. Personally, I can never keep them alive all summer in pots. Pots dry out a lot faster than the in-ground soil does. I'm spacing my pansies five or six inches apart. You can space them a little bit wider. I'm planting these right at soil level. Try not to bury the crown. They can get crown rot just like a strawberry plant can. So you don't want to put them in too deep. I'm just using a 555 balance slow release fertilizer on these plants. Try not to get any fertilizer on the leaves because it can burn the leaves. An easier way to do this would be to add some fertilizer to the planting hole or just mix it into your soil before you even put the plants in the ground. Within the next few weeks, I'm gonna be mulching these to help conserve moisture. As I said, I want these to last all year and it's also gonna to help to keep the weeds out. I'm gonna keep you updated on these. In a future video, I will show you how to prune them so that they'll keep growing. If this is your first time watching one of my videos and you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe. If you're growing pansies this year from seed, let me know how it's going and which varieties you're growing. There's so many different varieties out there to try. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Yeah.